Can you just clap your hands for us? Okay. <laughs> What's up everybody? Over here at Francis East Jr. and this is how I spent my first million dollars. I'm from the Dominican Republic, born and raised in San Pedro Macorís. It's a very known town for a lot of baseball players coming out of there. And what can I say? Over there we live baseball, we breathe baseball. You know, seeing my dad play, seeing my uncles and like my friends. I was my dream since I was a kid. My dad was rich when I was a kid, <laughs> but he did put me to work out there. He put me to work on the farm. He told me, you're going to do something, so you got to work out here, with, take care of the animals. I feel like that was the job before I, I got into baseball. When I was 15, I totally told myself and I told my dad, we're going to make this happen and we're going to make it happen real big. International, it's a little bit different. You know, we start working out since we're, we're 14, 15. You get signed over there, you, you go play baseball in the Dominican League. Make it happen from the island. This is a very long process, but if you play really good, you can make it short like I did. Here are the details of my contract with the Padres. It was almost midnight when my dad gave me the news, like, hey, we're settled, you're going into pros, we have a done deal. You can feel that transition from my father to me, knowing that he's still the boss. <laughs> but now I'm the one stepping forward and you know, coming to another country just to make a dream come true so I can help my people is definitely the push that I get every single day. All right, you guys already heard how I made million dollars. Now let's hear how I spent million dollars. The first thing I bought when I got my money, I went to have a little bit of fun with jewelry. I have a pretty good mix of pendants, Cartier, um, AP. Yeah, Cuban links, they're pretty famous over there in DR. So between chains and watches, I probably have 300K. The next thing I bought, I got a car. The Audi RQ8. I customized it a little bit. A couple details with Julio and the Customs. Over there, we have pretty fun with the cars. Um, yeah, we finished around 220. <laughs> When I finished my contract with Adidas, I went to the store. I bought shoes for every single family I have, and clothes, hoodies. I bought like all the combos like for everybody. We spent around $15,000. I'm a big part of a charity over there in my country. There's a lot of poor people out there, and especially in my hometown. So me and my family always get together, find a way how we can help those people. So far this year, we have collected about 250,000. And to top it off, one of the most important things I spent my money with, it was about my parents, a house. My dad was saying this house, and he's always told me that was a dream house for him. It was beautiful. He always told me like how quiet, how peaceful it was. When I finished the contract, the first thing I told them is like, uh, we're getting that house. That's gonna be eight hundred thousand dollars. This is what we work for. You can have fun, but at the same time, you gotta be smart about it. There's gonna be a lot of people around you. Doesn't mean that they want the best for you. So just keep working hard so we can keep bringing in more. Thank you guys for tuning in for how I spent my first million dollars and see you guys in the field.